Right then. But I found a village whilst I was out. That was quite good. Got some stuff. Got a piece of alimentum, I guess. That I found. After stating that I didn't want to build any. It was ironic that I found some. In a chest. In the village. I also got a zombie brain. When I killed a zombie. Two more bones. Which means I can make bone meal. Which means I can get string. <coughs> Woohoo. But I don't want the string right now. Because the lever I found out. I've realised is actually probably better for this. Because this is armour. And manus. Which is both in leather. So. I just keep pressing that button. There we go. Magic of course is what it would be. I said that bit already, didn't I? Discovered a way to create magical cloth. Now you need to discover what you can do with it. The obvious choice seems to be clothing. As you'd expect. From a person. To master magician sort of person. He just wants to make clothes. But yeah. Need more sand. Alright, I'll have to get more sand. Got some sand, it might not be enough. But we'll see what we can do with it. And then we'll just spread a bit out over this. There we go. 17 sandstone. There we go. 6 of that. 36 of that. Six, 18. There we go. Better than I thought I was going to get. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, 100%. Whoa. Alright then. Dig us back back. We'll just see if we can get any of that in there. No. Only some. Right, if we take this form, we'll just robes out. Yeah, you make these out of enchanted fabric, and you can make the. You can't make a helmet, but you can make legs, which is like a leg, which is basically the yeah, legs, uh, boots, and a robe. And they hold enchantments better, hold mystical enchantments very well. And basically, it's like gold. The way that gold holds enchantments better than most of the other armor types and weapon types as well. Uh, lastly, it also small discount to the amount of this trade when you're using light ones. Which, small discount, five percent discount to like when it, if I had it and when I was holding this. So it's only a small discount, but it's useful. Uh, I won't be crafting those. Next thing is I probably want the. I'm not sure what I want. Just stick that in there. It won't do anything. Nah, didn't think it would. Oh, what's this? Magic tallow. Oh yes, it would be. Boss. Don't like magic tallow, but whatever. Oh, it doesn't have magic in it. Hmm. I forgot about that. It does have light, maybe? No, it doesn't. Uh, why? Why have I suddenly forgotten everything this has? It's not a weapon. I know what it is. I just don't know how to make it. It doesn't contain that. No. It won't contain this. No one. Oh, wait a minute. Corpus. There we go. See, I remember now. There we go. It was just Ignis and Corpus. There we go. Magic tallow. That's this stuff, and it just requires a bit of corpus, and it can be used to make candles. Brilliant. So, oh my god, do spiders make new sounds now in 1.4? Oh, it sounds like zombies wriggling about, like with loads of legs. It reminds me of that Star Trek of Voyager Elite Force with those things that went around and you could hear them. No, there's nothing like that. I don't think so. Um, why, why am I stuck? Why can I not figure out what to do? Hmm. I have no idea what the thing would contain. Ah, boss. I need even more sand. Even more. Yeah. Well, be back with more. Alright, let's put some of this sand in here and hope it, whatever this is, tells us what it is. I'm hoping it's what I think it is. Former bitter. Yes, it is. Brilliant. Uh, it'll be Kanisha then, because 
There is load involved in finding out where things are. There we go. Also gears, so uh, get some redstone for that. Really? Do you just wish you could fit everything into a chest? When you try. This is useful. But I don't like them. Well, not useful, but it's good. This lets you detect magic. It requires some water, shard, and some gold. It's like a compass for, for detecting the vis or a node. Or nodes will be described later on. I will describe them later on. Uh, so, yeah. I guess transmutation is what I have left to do. I'm not sure how long these videos are going for, but I'm just going to do some transmutation quickly then. Uh, I guess I will need seeds for this. Seeds will be very vitally important before I really start this. So, let's go get some seeds. Hmm. Oh, flax, it's done. Oh, it's all done at once. That's actually good. Ah, yes. Excellent. Excellent. Oops, missed. There we go. Now I want to plant most of these. it won't go there because there's a torture with it. So you got to be careful about where you're placing these. There we go. I had a load of bone meal, there it is. And I said I was going to use it on the flax. So I might as well do that. I'll do it on this smaller flax here. The ones I just planted. Basically. Then see flax is such a good way of being hold of string. Once you have a flax fab set up you'll wonder how you ever got string without it. Flax is added by red power and red power is the one with the canvas bag. That's why the canvas bag expects you to get 64 stack of string because it's from the same mod which expects you to be able to make a flax farm it's not like the mod that made it is just being evil Eloram will do that right then that's all that flax there's normal seeds here this farm is already big enough is this farm finished? Have I actually taken up every single square of this farm? No, I haven't. I've taken up most of them. Just these ones here left to do. There we go. So I've got my sugarcane farm finished. I've got my wheat farm finished just need to finish the flax farm and then I can start collecting seeds from it stockpiling them rather than having to replant them but I have got a few seeds here so I will start by learning some gold transmutation uh, might as well put some gold in there the gold nuggets doesn't actually yeah so Will it require corpus as well? 
Yes, it will. Karas. Alright. Other things which have Karas. Because I really don't want to use up all those gold right now. <laughs> Diamonds does, obviously. Emeralds does. Oh, that's good. Does. Emeralds do. Wow, my English is not working today. Oh, lapis. Brilliant. Because I've got loads of this. And I'm not the type of guy who uses a lot of lapis. I'm not like I'm not letting the little wood. So I don't just go, hey everybody, I got some lapis. Uh, pop chop. And iron. Iron 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 There's no iron in there. Iron 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 no, there's no iron in there. There's no iron. Guess I'm gonna have to make some. Ah, brilliant time to show off this magical device. Whoops, no. Iron. And then you put coal in here. No, put a load of coal in there. Put a load more coal in there. Try to fill it up. There we go. Then turn it on. And it's magic. It heats up. And when it reaches 100, which it will do shortly, just give it a second. No, that it is actually using cold to heat up, so it's more efficient if you keep it running once it's running rather than restarting it. Alright, so it starts generating steam. This steam is good, and it starts generating Minecraft jewels. This is a power type source thing. And this is, I think this is, is it Minecraft jewels per second? Or per pulse? It's per pulse. So every single time that reaches the end there, you get another pulse of it. And that sort of like levels out about 2000 steam and that gets to 1.6 on average is where I seem to find it gets to but it keeps heating up and I think when it gets to it's like certain heats it generates more I'm not sure but either way it's powering my pulverizer so I'll be back when there's like enough power for it to actually do stuff alright here we are it seems to be generating enough power to keep this um, what do you call it running the pulverizer I think it's actually generating more power than the pulverizer needs which is good generating excess is always good and after uh, after um, it's made some iron I will leave the this to pulse for a, well pump for a bit so that I can fill up the internal buffer of the pulverizer just so that it'll be useful. There we go, 400 degrees and it starts uh, 400 degrees and 2000 MJ is where it starts generating it goes green and it can start generating more power I believe I'm not sure if it can actually, is it can it? It goes faster, which I think basically just means it's it's pulsing the same amount of power, but more often. Yes, it is definitely. That's good. So put that there. Put bit of that in there. There we go. That's just powering that up. That's good. This won't overheat because I've got the water in there. And that's getting hotter and hotter, but it won't overheat, like I said. I might as well just put the other five in there. Depending on the amount of power level, depends on the speed that these pulverize. If the power's full, then that bar there, that symbol there is full, and this will go along faster. It's quite cool the way it does that. Alright, so I'm just basically building myself some iron here for this. There we go. And permutatio is the other one that I don't have there. That's the seeds. Because, you know, seeds always take time to grow. And I don't think these seeds have it. Flax seeds do have the symbol, because red power is supported as having the symbols. But I don't have flax seeds spare, as you know. So, uh. so yeah, I'll be back when 
flax seeds, I guess. I'll just double check them now while I'm on camera. Right, I've got some of these seeds. No flax, have I? Oh, put that flax there. Three flax seeds. Oh yeah, wait, I've still got to fill in these plots here. Oh, and these four over here, apparently. And that just ran out. That's annoying. Okay, just make myself another hoe. Uh, just punch it because you can punch wood in Minecraft, that's how it works. I've punched rocks before in Minecraft. Minecraft lets you punch anything, you'll eventually get through it. Did I really punch that and not get anything from it? Oh, that's because it wasn't ready yet. Balls. You gotta get used to knowing when wheat's ready and when it isn't ready. It's got to be that golden colour. That nice golden colour. That golden colour that you want your bread to be. There we go. So I've got those seeds done. Then. There's a zombie on the door. My front door. By the sides of it. Yes, it is. It's an angry zombie. Can you control it? No, you can't. You can't control it easily. Even if it is an angry zombie. Yay, another zombie brain. Woohoo. I can hear spiders on the roof again. Debut. Anyway. Wait, is this internal buffer full? Yes, it is. Whoops. Turn it off, turn it off. There we go. There we go. I need more coal. <laughs> I managed to use up so much coal. It's unbelievable. There we go. Basic transmutation done. This is all I really need. I should have read that, but whatever. I think I've already read it at some point. Got basic alchemy. The funny thing is, you're meant to get that first, and then it says, and a little of that, and there, but oh well, I did it backwards. Yeah, we got, we got the four big bees installed to go with the extra bees and forestry, and forest goes with build craft, build craft goes with Minecraft. <laughs> anyway. Um, so there's formium there. So, like, I could research some, like, I could throw some metal in there and hope that it comes out as formium. No, it's tin. No, it would be tin. Well, if I just throw some tin in there, it'd be a lot easier because tin has the crystal aspect, apparently. So I'll just get some of that crystal aspect out of the tin itself. And there's plum tissue there. So, need more seeds, as always. As you can probably tell, this is going to be my main problem throughout this entire series. Seeds. They're like crops, why don't you just grow faster? Seeds. And flax. Oh, there's one. The flax farm's not finished yet, so every single time I get crops I have to plant them. I've got one plus six. I've got seven more seed flax seeds to plant, and then the farm will be finished. Be at its full size, full capacity. I just saw that grow. Ah, slightly punched the one behind it. That's an accident. I got two seeds. Let's see if I can research the permutation in this with two seeds. No, I can't. Right then, that's enough farm craft for today then, I guess. Man, I, I have no idea how long this episode's been. I'm hoping it's been short, because it's been a long time recording, or at least playing. Not necessarily spending time time recording, but... By next time I will have researched all the transmutations, because I can do them off camera. It's just a, it's like a tree shape of like lead, silver, tin, copper, and iron transmutations that go up here above this basic transmutation. Uh, I will research formium ingots 
and tell you about them when they're done. And this infu um, magical mis mystical blocks and the infusion altar as well next time. And then I'll be ready to show you the unified phobic field theory. And then we can move on to cool stuff like golems and golems and wands and all the hidden recipes right here like the the furnace, the infernal furnace and the goggles are revealing, I don't know if they're there or not and like the RK levitator all the hidden recipes that you can't see from there yeah we'll be doing cool stuff like that so till next time bye also before the end just discovered silver is a very useful way of getting permutatio and metallum so there you go also I accidentally discovered formium here which is actually not like the other transmutations, this is a completely new material. You found a way to infuse and transform base materials with raw magical energy. You are hopeful that the resultant material will prove stronger and more resi resilient than its components. Basically this is like the iron version of the enriched fabric. Also there is a helmet version for the thing and tools for the it stuff. And Basically, in the same way that the enchanted fabric is like the equivalent of leather as armor protection, but like for enchantability is like gold. This is like iron for protection and enchantability is gold. So yeah. Just charging my pulverizer back up. Don't mind me. Uh, I've got two more to go. So yeah. Right, just discovered that earlier on I must have dug up a load of sand without realizing, and it's all here. Whoops, accident.